With the free Snapseed and Lightroom apps, I'll try to give the temple in the image some limelight and more color to the surroundings. First thing in Snapseed, some standard tuning in Tune Image. This time I will just increase the shadows to get some details from the darker parts. Also a bit of saturation. Now with curves, I will apply some contrast by selecting the preset soft contrast. With the selective filters, first I will try to darken the sky which is visible here in parts. Also, I will try removing the harsh light in the foreground by reducing the brightness. One selective filter on the greens to make them pop a bit. Here I will reduce the brightness and increase the saturation a bit. And one on the temple to give it some brightness, structure, saturation and also some contrast. As I see there is still one bright pot at the bottom right corner, I'll try the healing tool to remove it. Next with the brush tool and with the value set at 5 for dodging, I'll try to add some brightness on certain parts by brushing on them. The more you brush, the more brighter it becomes. Overall, it gives certain pop to the image. Now to give some limelight to the structure, I will add some vignetting with the vintage filter. So little vignette strength. Also some brightness. Now with masking, that is tap the stacks icon on the top right, view edits, vintage filter and brush. I will remove the effect by brushing out the mask with different values of transparency. This is one more way to give the image dodge and burn effect. So here are the changes made in Snapseed, but there is still more tuning now with colors by exporting these to Lightroom app. In the light menu here, I will tune the whites and blacks to give the image a bit more contrasty look. I will tune these with the two finger swipes so that the whites and blacks that is the brightest parts and the darkest parts don't get clipped. 
now a bit of vibrance in the color menu and in the mix that is the HSL sliders I will tune the colors to give it a fall look. First with the green hues I will here move the greens a little towards right add some brightness by increasing luminance also a little saturation moving to yellow now bit more towards orangish color more saturation and brightness Then for orange, I will increase the saturation a bit and more luminance. Now I will tune the curves to give the image more punch. Darken the shadows by dragging the lower part of the curve and increasing the brightness of the midtones by dragging upwards here. If you feel the image is too warm, you can go to the color menu and decrease the temperature a bit. To get more reddish tone, I will save this and import it again in Lightroom. Then go to color menu, mix again and tune the orange hues again more towards red. Reduce the saturation a bit, then tuning the yellows. Let me try the greens too. So here is the final image. Thanks for watching.